Okay, good evening. Today we are going to talk about hurricanes. This is my oral presentation, a paper one of the Bode article. Hurricanes. So when we talk about hurricanes, many things that come into play, many things that are effects of hurricanes is the health coverage. We talk, we're going to talk about health coverage as it relates to hurricanes. We're going to talk about the evacuees as it relates to um, hurricanes Ex and the experiences during Hurricane Katrina and the experiences after Hurricane Katrina. But before we go into detail, I want to just point out that before, um, before getting into it, I just want to point out that many other catastrophic hurricanes happen between the 104 year time span. 70 category one hurricanes took place. 41 category two hurricanes took place as well, just to name a few. Excuse me. And one common thing that we assessed, that was assessed in this article, the Brody article, was that many people do not evacuate during natural disasters. So, Hurricane Katrina evacuees from New Orleans, Louisiana, in the Houston area. When we look at this study conducted by um, Brody and other, other researchers, they did this study surrounded around 680 participants. They chose these participants by using random sampling. Uh, they chose every nth, I, th I guess that's how you pronounce it, but it's every nth of, every nth person, every ninth, tenth, you know, like that. So they chose every nth person to participate in this study. They did not use they didn't allow you know, children under the age of 18 to participate in the study. And this study was conducted using a questionnaire, quantitative research, and at Houston shelters. 61% of people did not evacuate from New Orleans. 90% of the 61% were African Americans. And the reason that a lot of people did not evacuate were because they had lack of transportation. They had a low economic, a low economic um, rate. They had physical disabilities or had family members who had physical disabilities. And of the 61% of people who didn't evacuate, well, of the 680 participants who um, were in the shelter and who participated in the study, 60% of them make $20,000 or less a year. That is very low for someone. So you can see why so many people weren't able to evacuate. Of the 680 participants, 41% had chronic health conditions such as asthma hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease. So this has placed them <clears throat> in a very sticky situation because many of them, 62% to be exact, rely on charity hospitals. That means that they did not have health coverage. They did not have health insurance. So they had to rely on these charity hospitals. And now, now that they don't have health insurance, they can't get the necessities that they need, such as their medication or proper health treatment. So future planning, according to the article, three things stood out for future planning, respond, provide, and be. You have to respond quicker to those in need after disasters. You have to be there. You have to put those first responders out there. They have to get to these people. You have to provide provide better communication and evacuation planning for those in low economic neighborhoods, low economic um, 
areas in the those urban areas because they they don't have the resources to get the information they don't have uh the proper planning to evacuate they don't have cars most don't even have cars and you have to be able to supply food and water and medication to those who aren't able to evacuate because let's just be realistic everyone you can't just load up a bus bring a, a, a bunch of buses and expect to get everyone out because it won't happen health care is a necessity so just a, three things that you have to be aware of after a disaster how about implementing a short-term public health care plan for the people because many like i said many people don't have health care and they depend on charity hospitals and clinics number two everyone regardless of economic marital status and dependency status have similar health needs so whether you have children or you don't have children you basically have the same needs and health needs as those who do have children or those who are married and if you don't have health coverage you're like stuck out and many low income families rely on charity hospitals again and that is my presentation